Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Undertale. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tagging along and continue to watch this. I'll play through. You guys are awesome. And in this episode, we're going to, well, hopefully, beat Metaton. We have to get the ratings up to 10,000. I just looked it up because I was curious. I was really close with 9,800. Um, I think I got the concept now. What do we do? Um, skip the monologue. And we're going to try to, well, get the ratings up. Oh, look at these ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached a viewer call, call, call in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Who is it? Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this? Our last show. Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life. Viciously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, wait, bl bl Yeah, I already hung up. Aww. I'll take another caller. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton-shaped hole in my Metaton-shaped heart. Aww. I see. Everyone, thank you so much. Ah, darling. Perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and adults, but monsters, they only have me. If I left the underground, would lose its spark. I'd leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Haha, <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power and, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been great audience. I'll just, maybe we should plop in a new battery. That, that would be smart, I think. Oh my god. Metaton! Metaton, are you? I don't know. Nope, doesn't seem to run anymore. Thank God it's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have. I would have. I mean, hey, it's no problem. You know, he's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always just build another. Nah, nah. Why didn't you go on ahead? All right, it's just the batteries. You can fix her. It's out of batteries. Well, it's maybe better for now, considering what it's been doing to me. Y yes. You... Sorry about that. Let's keep going. Oh, you're following me now? I don't... I, you, you've been... You've been pretending to help me. So you're about to meet Asgore, huh? You must be... You must be... Pretty excited about all that. Eh, it's okay, I guess. It's, it's fine. You'll finally... Get to Kugo home. Well, we'll see. I don't know if he lets me, though. That's a big question. Alright. Wait! Alright. I mean, um, I was just going to say goodbye, and maybe I'll stay, who knows? I can't take this anymore. What is up? I, I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. Oh. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder what we need to do with Asgore here. Ah, it's a pretty long elevator ride. Looks uh, not too bad. Ooh, save point. All right, let's let's save. Uh, all right, so chances are I might have to fight him. I don't know how this works. Wait. Okay, there was another elevator. This is ominous. Quite ominous. Oh, I should have just walked through that. That would have been obvious of a weasel. Come here, Wheatley. Stop screaming. Come here. Good bird. New home. Oh, hey there. Is this the place where... <laughs> oh, what's happening? Oh, froggets. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. And then killed the one that... Oh, well, it's a key. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Wait, is there maybe something in the fridge? 
The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not crazy about that. I, don't, I think I'm gonna pass. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Azriel, the king's son. Who's that? Okay. Ooh, presents! There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. You got the heart-shaped locket. What's this? There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. You got the worn dagger. I'm just gonna take it. I probably don't need to use it. Room under renovations. Then again, I might want to equip it. Give me some info. Attack 15. Perfect for, <laughs> perfect for cutting plants and vines. Um, all right. Worn use. You equip the dagger. Ooh, another key. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. So many keys. All the keys, ooh. Trophy, it's a trophy. Number one, nose nuzzle champs in 98. Okay, maybe something in this thing. It's a bureau, there's Santa Claus outfit in sight. I would, I would wish I could wear a Santa Claus outfit, but I doubt I can. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that I can open up this lock that leads downstairs now. You unlock the chain. Yay! Success! Oops, sorry, I got stuck there. Then, one day, the human became very ill. No. The sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Well, yeah, you're kind of locked in, I can see that. The next day, the next day, the human died. Ah, oh, sad story. Azriel, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with an incredible power Huh. With the soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. I don't think the humans took lightly on that. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. But he hadn't. Obviously. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But... Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. I wonder why he smiled. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Askor will let us go. King Askor will give us hope, and he will save us all. Oh, I don't know about that. We'll see. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? I'm not entirely sure because it seems like I'm gonna get killed. That's usually not my favorite thing to happen, you know? You're going to be free. Free of a soul, I assume. 
Okay, can I use this elevator? Oh yeah. But first, let's check down here. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna save so hard here. I'm gonna save so hard. It's great. Wow, this is pretty. Very pretty. Oh, I hope I went the right way. Hey there. Are you Asgore? Very well might be. Very well might be. So you finally made it. <clears throat> the end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every experience point you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP or Execution Points increase. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. <laughs> a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Okay. Yeah, I kind of killed Toriel, and I think another guy, by mistake. It just, yeah. Oh, it's sense. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave upon you. Honestly, Toriel was a mistake. One of spirit just didn't know how that I had just had to keep doing that. So that's 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 my excuse, I guess. And the other one was, yeah. I was not aware what I was doing. Okay, so what we got now? Throne room. Okay, throne room. You know what, guys? You know what? Oh, I can go down here. Let's check this out first. I wonder. I'm intrigued. Where does this lead? Stairs. Lots of stairs. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Get oh! Hey there. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Schneck. It's empty. Oh, there's the other human souls, or the other dead humans that, well, were killed for the soul. Uh, Alright, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to, well, save this game over here, and we're gonna keep going in the next episode, because I think there might be a boss fight or something like that happening soon. Um, or boss spirit, whatever is going to happen. We're pretty close to the ending, I feel. I don't know. Uh, in any case, we're going to continue in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Thanks again so much for sticking along and watching this series with my horrible, horrible voice acting. In any case, I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.